ColtMMAnow.com with one and only Fabricio Verdum. How's it going, sir? Hey, man, I'm good. Guys, as you can see by my face a little <laughs> bit, Fabricio just beat me up a little bit, always training, getting ready, sweeping me, ground and pounding me, and it was a good time. Thank you very much. Thank you for, you. Thank um, for helping me. So how was tough in Brazil? Tough too? Yeah, it's very good. I uh, have a good event there. I'm still in Brazil for like two months there. It's a lot of work, but it's very good because it's my work. I like I like to teach the guys. Uh, for sure, the guys love the, the ultimate fire to Brazil. I've, I've watched a couple of the fights. Problem is, no translation yet. Dana White says he's working on it. There's no subtitles. Yeah, no, having nothing. So my Portuguese like, yes, sucks. Portuguese. So, <laughs> but so maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe in the fight, we may fight it. Just like um, I don't have a language. Yeah. Just like we guys in here. The fights were good. Yes. No, like, uh, were all the guys pretty skilled, or was there a couple guys who really stood out? Yes. A couple guys very high level, or no? All I have a good level. I have a good level there. Yeah. So I like everything. We uh, have a good level. We have sometimes like a medium, medium, but it's very good level. I like the my team is very, very strong team. What about Team Nog? Is there anything that stood out that you liked that he did, or something you didn't like? Yeah, one time uh, my my second one, one is we split the the the, the, team, the team. I mean, say one, he say what one. I won the, the one guy. He got it. Okay. He got it one guy, but it's okay. Nice, no, no problem. Seven guy for each guy. Each team is very good. So, you know, a lot of guys, this is like the best heavyweight grapplers fight in the world. But you got to say that, you know, uh, Nog's boxing is very good. Mm -hmm. Your stand-up under Mr. Rafael Cordero has become really amazing. Yeah. You have long jab, good high knees. And so, do you want to maybe stand up or do you want to yes, no. see who's the best heavyweight jiu-jitsu guy? Want, I have a lot of respect with him, Nogueira. I fight with him in 2006 in Pride. But he is very good. He have a lot of experience. He had good boxing, good jiu-jitsu, but I know my, my stand-up is very well now. It's very good because I'm training with Rafael. Rafael is the best coach in the world. Um, he helped a lot. I mean, I'm staying with him like a six years. He, um, he changed my game a lot. He, I mean, I'm, my, my, I'm, my feeling now is like I'm completely fired now. I'm completely. Absolutely. Yeah. If you manage to get by Nog, where do you want to go? I mean, that puts you right, I think you're right there, ready for a title contention. I mean, your first fight was JDS before anyone knew who he was, and now you're on top, and JDS may be falling out. And mm -hmm. If Kane beats uh, Bigfoot again, I think you will be I ready to, soon. Yes, I, I, my, my, my fault now is that I, like, I'm no get a fight for. So. After I beat him, I'm dry because I know it's so difficult to fight, but I'm dry, I'm trained a lot for this fight. Yeah, after then, I don't know who is the the owner, the gym, the the the, the, the gym. I'm sorry, the the, the belt. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want the belt. I want the belt. You know, maybe Bigfoot, um, Dos Santos, uh, Caim Velasquez. It's a matter. I want the belt. Okay, I think you'd be ready for it. What about um, what about Frank Mir? Would you like to fight him? Yeah, another Frank, grappling fight. That I mean, people yeah. like to see the heavyweights that actually can can are technical. Yeah, but I I know now I'm. Um, Maybe it's not a good time now for me now because uh, Frank Miri lost the last fight. It's uh, like I'm, I mean, like second in the rank, the UFC rank. I, I, why I'm fighting with him now is not good for me because I'm stepping back. Yeah, I want to step in front. Do you think you can possibly submit now? I, mean, I don't know, maybe, yes, maybe. for sure. I mean, that would be he huge, right? I mean, if you beat him, you knock him out, yes, I, I think yes, this yes. can happen. But if you submit him, Nogueira is special. He is like a legend. Yes, legend. I love him. I love him. He, but not like a good friend, but um, he's like a friend. I'm staying with him now in Brazil, like a two months there. But I have a lot of respect, but when the, the guy's close to the, the cage, I'm trying to submit him or knock out. Either way, pride never die. Yeah. Right? Either way, pride wins this one, right? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Hey, man, thank you. I appreciate it for helping a lot. Thank you. Uh, you help me a lot in the ground. You help me for everyone. Just come for the clean, please. Come. And Master Rafael Cadero having me is always great. <laughs> Guys, go to ProMMAnow.com for all your information. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Make sure to go to thecombatsystem.com and subscribe to my YouTube page at DanTheWolfman1. Thank you.